This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. It is possible to use multiple tables in a Crystal Reports report. If we start a new report, new blank report, based on the training database that we've been using previously in this course, and have a look at the tables that are available to us, we can see we have children, employees, gender, orders, pet, pet types and shares. If we pick our employees table, as we have done before, and then pick the shares table, you'll notice that an extra tab appears across the top of the database expert, entitled Links. We now need to visit this section. This window is resizable, should you happen to pick three, four, five, six tables. I personally would then make sure that the tables are placed next to each other, and expanded so that all the fields are visible. You'll know all the fields are visible because the vertical scroll bar disappears. You'll notice if I make that a bit smaller, the scroll bar appears. A little bit larger, the scroll bar disappears. So I have the employees table and the shares table. What I now need to do is link these two together. If I attempt to pass this point without causing a link between the two tables and click OK, I get a message to say that that's not normally supported but I can click OK and continue and I actually now have a report with both those tables in that are unlinked which will cause a massive Cartesian join which we saw in an earlier module. So I need to go back to the database expert, back to the link section to form a link between these two tables. Now I could ask Crystal Reports to try and attempt a link either by key so by primary key and foreign key, or by name. Now in this particular database, none of the fields have matching names, so that would not be a good idea. I could attempt to ask it to go by key and link, and effectively it says it's unable to, because there is not a relationship in the database, or the driver does not enable you to pick out the relationship in the database. Would you like to use the field names instead? No. Nope and then for some reason it moves my table down there. So I need to manually cause a link between these two tables. Now I know that the ID of the employees is linked to the purchaser of the shares table. So I can grab the ID of the employees and drag it all the way across until I'm effectively on the purchaser field on the shares table and then let go. And a link is joined between the two of them. That way I'm going to get an inner join where I will see all the shares matched up to the right employee. I can click OK. The report needs just setting up slightly for our paper. No printer. A4. We'll leave it in portrait. In the database field section, you'll now notice when you expand that out, you have both tables. Employees table which I can expand out and see our familiar field, and the shares table. So in my report, I could add a grouping by the employee. Okay, so I'm now grouped by the employee, and then I can place the date, the amount, and the price paid into the details section. Move the group header down a little bit and move these labels into the group header. Preview. Employee number one has made two share purchases. Number two, two share purchases all the way through the report. In our group navigation tree on the left, you can see the ID numbers of the employees that have made share purchases. And it's not all of them. There's quite a few consecutive. And then we have a big gap. 56 to 60 to 61 to 73. Now we saw earlier how we can customize that group name field so that it doesn't display the ID. Go into options, options, customize the group name field. I then actually like to use a formula. And by clicking this X2, I end up in the formula section because I'd like to see the people's name. 
So let's have their surname. A bit of concatenation that we saw in the formula section. First name. Check. No errors. Save and close. I now have a formula driving the group name. And you'll notice that the X2 has gone red and the pencil is now at 45 degrees. So that's OK. OK. I can now see the names of the employees in the navigation tree and on the report as a group name. So the database expert, the links tab only appears when you add two or more tables here. And the tables must be joined for the data to make any sense whatsoever. OK fresh report and there's my multiple table report.